Well, like I said, I'm not going to. I'm sick and tired of being a quarter racist. So I have very much every right to be talking about it at four o'clock today. I don't give a shit what anyone says. You know what I mean? It's my platform. Don't tell me what I can and can't do on my platform. If you don't want to be here, don't be here. If you want to be here, great. If I get 300, fine, I don't care. I'm still fucking doing it. You know what I mean? So telling everyone whose platform it should be on. You've got someone that's committed a fucking hate crime, you know? You've got someone that's bloody said a lot. Then you've got someone that, that, that well, I'm not going to say that because I've actually met up with that person, so I'm not even going to talk about that person. You know what I mean? And the person that hasn't actually said the least is my fucking self. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, why not? What, let's put on a platform of someone that's committed a hate crime. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? Well, why not? I haven't said the most about racism at all. So, show me the evidence. Stop sitting there and saying, oh, I've said this and I've said it. Apparently, I said a lot to Tyrone. Show me the evidence. And I'm talking about what I'm talking about. What I said to Tyrone, show me the evidence, right? What I said about. Did it so? Did it, I don't know what I said because I didn't say it. Bring me the goddamn, goddamn receipts, and that's all I ask, right? Done. Thank you, Val. I'm hot. Um, Loza, why are you here then? This is what I don't understand yet, right? You got a lot to say about me in other people's platform, but you're sitting here watching me. Why? Are you watching me? Listen, now let me do you a favour and block you. There you go, because obviously you can't do it yourself. Oof. So don't forget, guys, 4pm on this platform, we will be talking about racism. Guys, did anyone see the swearing shepherdess last night? Yes? Did you see what happened? It really kicked off on... Whose live was it? Michelle, Michelle. And there's another thing that I want to ask. This is, these are questions. And Michelle, Michelle, you can join the box if you want to. Um, if you don't, don't, right? As to why you'd put certain people in the box, if it's not about clout, no. You stand for, uh, stand for racism, right? Uh, yeah, of course you fucking do. You know what I mean? And you know what? This woman, I've got her, actually, somebody sent me the um, voice, the screen recording. She talked, she talked since. She spoke since on Pagey Baby and Torian. Yes. And we will listen to her at 4 p.m. on a screen recording. Hopefully she can join my life at 4. But my question to you, Michelle, is why did you let, let me think, number one, who did you let in first? Pearl. Number two, you had her with Pagey Baby. Number three, then you let Swearing Shepherdess in. Well, you knew it was going to kick off, didn't you, Michelle? So you did it for views. Come on, guys, wake up and smell the fucking coffee. Yeah, why would she do that? Why would you want to do that? Because you wanted it to kick off. Yeah, because you've done it for the clout. Nothing to do about racism. <sighs> she has no ability to control it either. She has. She is the host. Yeah, you got a block button. You can kick someone out. She was adding them. And I know she was adding the people. She knew exactly who to add. She knew exactly what was going to happen. You know what I mean? If you want to, you cannot get all these people on one platform together. You know what I mean? Unless you do a showtime or something like that, because all it is is just drama. You know what I'm saying? Like, certain people do not stand, yeah, with racism. What they are doing, they're doing it for the views. Morning, Courtney. And yet, the fact that my name keeps get mentioned, if I sat here with 10 viewers, my name would not get mentioned. I'm saying, where is the rest of them? Where's Katie B? No, she is a small platform. Let's not talk about her. She said the worst thing. She said, she said the same as what Zach did, right? Where's CLA's mention? Where's uh, Court Assassin's mention? Because they don't have big platforms, you are not mentioning them. So you do not stand for racism. Because you cannot pick and choose who you want to have a go at. Well, I'm going to have a go at this person just to have a dislike for them. And you all sat in my boxes. Do not forget, guys. You all sat in my boxes. Because I spit such a specific person, you decided to shout out racism. And I'm not standing for it. Yeah, so I'll have a lot of opinions at 4pm. 
That's if I'm awake, obviously, because I'm, I'm so tired. And I blame maternity because she had me on the phone till four. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so tired. Morning, Laura. Yes, there is a divide because of specific people, certain people on here. And I will reveal who at 4 p.m. There shouldn't be a divide, should not to be a divide on what one person has said. Why is there a now a war, yeah, because of what one person has now come out with? Why does it involve everybody else? It should be between, you know, it should be just that one person and that one person only. But now there's this huge divide. You talk about education, 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 but yet you've gone about on about me for the last year. Year. Well, you said, oh, Angie, you've been, edu uh, we just want to educate you, you can't say the word boat. Okay. Weird, if you ask me, but yet he's gone on for about a year. So basically, what what she's saying is, you've got a big platform, right? And you say the wrong thing. We ask the wrong question. It's not education because you're going to be attacked for the next year. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Yes. And don't even get me started on this cam two shit. You know, platform. Don't even get me started on them. You know what I mean? Coming into my platform, clout chasing, and then slating me. No, I couldn't even have a say. Just like when Pagey, they put Pagey Baby in. I couldn't even have my opinion. I was still talking in the middle of a my, my opinion when they decided to put Pagey Baby to have her opinion. And not, because they're probably obviously scared of her, which I, she, I think they are scared of her, they didn't even kick her or tell her, listen, Angie's still talking. That's not a controlled platform. Do you know what I mean? We mute people here. We kick people. You know, and people, everyone is allowed to have their say. And I had my say on Georgia. She is a liar. She wants to, she wants to, she went on and on about that lying I sent her as well. For fuck's sake. Why is she going on about the lying? If she wants to fucking refund, I'll give it to her. <laughs> Morning, Beth. I think I need to go back to fucking bed. <sighs> oh, dear. Who's this, Annette? No one even pissed me off. Hello? I don't know where she's gone. I swear no one pissed me off today because I'm not in the mood. I'm so tired. Right, who's this? I need to get some food. What do you want? It's actually going to be worse off under Labour. Not as well, you know, why are you going to press a box to put your, put your goddamn TV on? The point inflation now is to make sure we've stabilised the economy. That is precisely... Get out of my life. Get out. Mm. No one come for me today. I'm, not, I'm really not in the mood. I'm tired and I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. Who's this? <sighs> angry. I'm more than fucking angry. I'm livid. I wake up feeling this way. <sighs> That's it. I'm not staying on for long because I can't, because I'm, I don't know whether to go back to bed, man. What the fuck am I doing up? How many hours have I had sleep? I need a good eight hours sleep. I think I've got to be having an early night tonight, do you know what I mean? 100%. Oh, who are these people? I put them one at a time. Hello? I oh, know, I'm gonna get some food. Hello? Oh, fuck off. I think I'm gonna get bananaed, I'm not gonna lie. If I get bananaed, I'll be on to Lucy Vanjie 11. Yes. Morning, how's it going? You all right? Anyway, guys, in FYP today, we'll be talking about the M situation. I've got a lot to say about that. Um, 
with what's his name, that guy that was asked to leave. I thought that was actually, well, I don't know if it was wrong, to be honest, with the police asking him to leave, because you got to know your rights with the police, and at the end of the day, they had no leg to stand on asking this man to leave. But saying that, if they think she's in a vulnerable state, um, and to protect her safety, with you only got this strange man in the house, yeah, I mean, but still, they've got no leg to stand on to ask him to leave. Because, you know, unless they've got some fucking court order or some kind of, you know what I mean, they have no right to leave. You know, it is her property. She can have whoever she wants in her property. And that, you know, you've got to know your rights with the police. And she could have rightly said he's not leaving. The, the police wouldn't have done nothing, wouldn't be able to do anything about it or arrest him. He hasn't done anything wrong. You know what I mean? Um, to be honest, you can't afford to talk about anyone, about anyone. Can't afford to talk about anyone. Watch me. Watch me at four o'clock, because, well... <laughs> what are you going, still going on about two or three years ago? Why don't you move on, get over it? So her house, they can't, they cannot, they had no right to ask him to remit, to be, to leave. Yeah, um... You, you, this is the, the problem with the police. You, you know, you really got to know what's right and what's wrong. You know, you need to know your rights. You know, and she could have just she could have turned around and said he's not leaving. And the police, what are the police gonna do? Arrest him? No, then it'll be in a a wrongful arrest, wouldn't it? There's a duty of care. It doesn't matter. Duty of care or not, it doesn't matter. He hadn't done anything wrong, as far as I'm concerned. I, I, I didn't watch it all. Um, yeah. They wouldn't have been able to force you to remove him because even if they did that, she, um, you know, you've got to know your rights. Do you get what I'm saying? She could have got a solicitor, and you know what I mean? What I'm saying is, they had no rights removing someone from that property unless they've done something wrong. Unless she's classed as vulnerable or, you know, to prote protect her. Protect her from what? Maybe they wanted to protect him. I don't know. For their safety you can, yes, but there's no safety issues. That's what I'm trying to say. There was no safety issues. Everyone has, you know, people can invite strangers back to their house. It's not a crime. I know. Sam's back at corn Thursday, I know, yeah. Ems. I don't know about that. Listen, Ems does it all for the views, and it's sad that she uses these men to do it. I'm not frothing at the mouth, guys. That's the nicotine, by the way. I haven't got rabies. But listen, I think she uses men. I think she does, you know what I mean? Well, we know, not think. She does. And she does it all for TikTok. She doesn't fancy this guy. She's leading this guy along. She's leading him on. I'm not saying I was saying it was to happen, it was her fault, didn't I'm not saying that either. But she is definitely leading one where she's giving him sign those kind of signals. And of course, he might act on those signals she's giving him, and then all, all, automatically he's in the wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? I think she is a dangerous woman when it comes to, to, to stuff like that. I don't know, I didn't see it all. I don't know if he'd done something to her, touched her inappropriately. I don't know, I didn't watch it all. So, mm. I mean, she knows what she's doing, and I think there's, one day there's going to be someone that's either going to do something to her, and this is when she, she's got to wake up, you know what I mean, bringing strangers to her house. She's there, he's either going to do something to her, or she's going to accuse him of something, you know, set him up because she let's face it she is that type he was grabbing her coat well that then then that now will explain why the police told her to him to leave then because that will probably in their eyes fall under essay right which will fall, fall under essay but <laughs> as a just a difficult one if you're leading somebody on because I didn't see it that bit, yeah. If you're actually leading someone on and giving those kind of signals that you like that person, da 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 da, da I wouldn't class it as SH, SA myself. But now it, now it explains why um, the priest had him removed. 
Uh, that's what they called out for. Oh, okay, well, now that explains it. And then I thought they were called out for no reason and asked him to leave just because they thought he was a risk to her. But now, if that's the reason and he touched her, I'm not saying that's right either, I suppose. I don't know how what happened as to why he did what he did but listen they're both intoxicated if you go to a club or a pub i'm not saying it's right but if you go to a club, club or a pub and you meet someone and you're giving that person signals yeah they might put their hand on your leg they might go in for a kiss they might you know um i don't know do that to your leg whatever it may be that does fall under sa you know what i mean it is a bit ridiculous but um it does fall un under sa he was touching himself Oh my god, was he? Well, was he actually doing that on live? Well, there you go. That's the, That's why the police removed her. her. They do, They wouldn't have removed him for no reason because I was going to say they would have no leg to stand on to do that. So they must have watched it or got a screen recording in or I don't know. Because I told you and I tell you, told, you, uh, told you all the time, the police do watch. They do watch me. So they really do. Like if someone calls the police on me, right? They will. They will. You, all you do is give them. You give them my username, and then they'll go on TikTok and they'll watch for themselves. They're not. I'm not saying they're watching me now or watching me without someone calling in. I'm saying when the police call in, when you call in the police, ask for a username, then they'll go and watch. You know, because then they get the evidence for themselves. They yeah. They when I did someone did a welfare check on me, right? They even said they said that to me as well. They said um. That's when they kicked the door down <laughs> because they had been watching my live. They said, we've been watching you. I've had the police come to my house before and they said, Angie, what shit are you talking uh, about today? I said, nothing. Oh, Angie, we have been watching you. <laughs> hey, Chelsea. Um, Melissa, they do watch me, okay? Listen, they really do. I said, like I said, they're not going to watch me for no reason. I'm saying for if you're going to call up for welfare check, they've got your username, right? So they'll go on TikTok to watch you to see wh 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 what part of the room you're in. Are you in danger? Uh, um, are the tr these people that phoned up saying that you need a welfare check, are they telling the truth? Do we need to be kicking down the door? So they, they will watch you to see the situation. Uh, maybe Devon, you need to educate yourself. Just because you're a black man does not mean you know, you know it all. You're twisting everything. I don't see colour, right? So it means like when I was with my ex, who was from Mauritius. Okay, of course I could see his colour, but I I didn't, you know, see colour as in I'm not a racist, right? I didn't see him as other people may see him that, that are racist. Okay, same with, you know, if it's the other way around. You know exactly what that means, um, Devon, but apparently now she's a she's a racist because of, of that one word, she don't see colour. Seriously. Okay, but I don't like this Donna Marie anyway. Okay. Anyway, let me get on to the next one here. About um, Islam and you've kind of called out Birdman for him being Muslim and you're saying you know I called out Birdman because of what he said and I asked him if it was Haram. Next what thing. was it to do with his religion? Like the screenshot that I've got says like you're calling out him for being a Muslim and what he's doing as a Muslim. Because I just don't was he not that, why, I, I don't know what the contents was. Explain the contents to me. What was the whole conversation we had? <laughs> I'm not sure what the conversation is. Okay, so you've got a, a, a little screenshot and where I've someone's also seen out me. me. I've had a couple of people send them. I can't remember who sent them. Different screenshots where you're talking about Muslims in a negative way. I've done speak about Muslims in a negative way. Listen, I'll try and find them, the Donna, but I'm a bit content. busy at the moment, hon. Okay, but the whole content. So I don't want a little screenshot, Alicia, because I can take okay. a screenshot. And 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 you if you're saying something them. negative towards mm -hmm. Islam, like you're saying something negative towards Islam, so either stand on it or don't fucking say it. Okay, well, okay, listen, don't swear at me. Am I swearing at you? I'm not swearing at you, I'm just swearing in general. Let's have an adult conversation. I'm not swearing at you, I'm just in, like, She's in general. Swearing. Okay, let's have an adult conversation, you know. Show me the conversations where I have said anything against Islam and I want the whole conversation, it's not a two-minute screenshot. 
Okay, she'll go and do, the she can, she'll, someone will do that. It's just literally a picture, it's a still picture, there's no time exactly. frame. So, what was the whole, what was the chat, okay. why did I say this? Okay. So I just okay. don't so, understand okay. why you're questioning. You can't my come point, back with just a piece of a jigsaw. My point is, is, I don't understand why you're questioning or bringing Islam into it, and I have seen where you've done it. I can't sit here holier than thou when you're doing things yourself. And if you're going to throw these allegations at me, Alicia, let me address yeah. it. Firstly... Yeah, yeah, no, I'm here for this. I'm here for this. You've got to, firstly, you've got to address I this. I did not, and I repeat, for the tenth time, mock self-harming. I mocked Angela sticking to my... So... You're still mocking me. So once again, so this app, the hypocrisy is crazy. Let me tell you something, Donna Marie. If you're mocking the SH, you're not just mocking me. You're mocking other people. The SH number one and number two is acceptable because it's Angie. It's okay that you mock me. Upon her body, saying she was bleeding for clout, for views, for money. Fact. Right. I did not mock self harm. Sorry, I know this is not this bit's not about the uh, racism, but I just want to just show you the hypocrisy when it comes to me. Yeah, yes, me, 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 me. Can I reply to this? So yes. You don't know whether that was what that whatever that was on her. Like obviously, everyone knows my thoughts and feelings towards Angela. However. When you're doing that, first of all, you're triggering people by mocking it and you're taking the piss out of people that do actually do that on a regular basis. And you don't know for 100 percent whether that was um, claret on her or whether that was ketchup. So you haven't got the right to sit there and do that. And you know I don't like this lady, so I'm not going to stick up for her. But for that, you was in the wrong. 100 percent you was in the wrong. Her mum said it on a video. It doesn't video. matter what her mum said. It There's doesn't matter. Of it. If There's a person is sat it. here on this video platform... Of it. If a person sat here on this platform screaming and crying and coming on with claret all over them, you like you don't have the right to do that. At this point, that's where you back off, whether it's Angie, whether it's her, whether it's whoever it may be, there's a point where you stop. You're on camera pouring ketchup on yourself, and that is triggering for people. I actually did people that actually ketchup go through on myself. That. If you look, I tapped my arm with the ketchup. Doesn't bottle. matter. You mocked it. Get regardless. It you're making up. You're taking bits. I thought we had an adult conversation. I am having an adult me. conversation with you, but you're not listening. Right. I tapped my arm with a bottle. I know what I did there with my actions. I also apologised afterwards. Did I not? Yes, I did. However, you all jumped on the bandwagon and said I was mocking self-harming. I was because mocking she was. Angela. So there you go. I was not mocking SH. I was mocking Angie. So how is that still acceptable that you're actually mocking someone, Bonna, Donna Marie, who's actually now, because you're not a my live or pearls, that you're now um, over there? And there's the hypocrisy about the racism. You cannot have an opinion. You cannot have an opinion. You cannot have an opinion if you've been racist. Guess what? I can hold this ra uh, debate, a uh, discussion on racism. I can have an opinion on racism because I've not been racist towards the black community. Okay? As people like to keep saying that, that I have. Show me the fisties and stop goddamn just saying it. Angela, was I wrong? Yes, I was. Could it have come across okay. different? Yes, it could have done. Should I have yeah. stopped? Yes, I should have done. I can't say any more that. I apologise to Rubber Duck. I sent her an email because she was on there. I didn't think when I'd done it. I apologise. Simple as that. Okay. One second. Can I just stop? Can I pause everyone for two seconds? So, um, can I speak to you on a level, Donna? Go on. So this is one of those cases where, like, you're fucked up and people are angry, yeah? Uh -huh. And I, I, hear, I hear you apologising, so I'm slowing it down, yeah, so that it doesn't come across as insincere as it's coming across. I, I, can't, I can't decide how everyone takes this or whether they choose to accept it or not, but I would like to give you a moment to, like, genuinely apologise. Like, listen, I, und I, I get what you're, you're trying to say, that you were going for Angie, it wasn't self-harm, but people who... I don't know who, oh shit, I've said the word. People who possibly have SH'd or get triggered by that are telling you that they feel triggered by it. So yeah, Devin, forget and about me. Other people are triggered by it, even though she was mocking me. You get what I'm saying? So listen, let me tell you something, Devin. Racism is, is never tolerated, never tolerated. But how would you feel if I said that about you? Because I just don't like you. I have a dislike to you and, and, and mentioned, you know, something about to do with racism. You get what I'm saying? Hmm. 
Yes. I just want to give you a moment to acknowledge that and apologize and then just ride the storm. The same way that Paul needed to do, you're going to have to ride the storm. And if people see that you're doing that and I genuinely see that you're sorry, you'll always have a platform on here. I know people are not going to like me for that, but I just want you to be honest. Listen, Devon, I cannot apologize to people enough. So, I've apologized to anybody. Yep. That comes up. I've apologised when people have sent me messages and said I've upset them. I've apologised off screen and I've apologised on screen. My actions were just that. They were my actions. They've got nothing to do with Pearl. They were me. Pearl didn't even know I did it. Pearl wasn't even aware of it. It was my actions. Was I wrong? Yes, yeah, shit. Reflecting on it, yeah, I was. Should I have done it? No. But I did it. I own it. And I will take that. It is a genuine. I am sorry. I am a retired paramedic. Thank you very much. A paramedic. I have a, to prove my job to anyone. Well, you yeah. should be off. Is it a register for paramedics? Because you should be off it, love. I'm sorry. 110% sorry to anybody that I affected for my actions. I can't be any fairer than that. I think, accountability is, I think accountability is everything. But I also... But I have seen you, Donna, say stuff in regards to Islam. So accountability is everything, but she hasn't held up her accountability. She hasn't apologised to me because that's who she's mocking. But that's okay. Do you understand where I'm coming from, guys? It's the same with racism. It's okay to be coming at me because it's only Angie to keep calling me over and over again a racist, which is slander because I have not been racist towards the black community. Okay? And so as you can hear, Lisa's saying, well, it's fine. It's just Angie. Okay, so all these people will be blocked if most of them probably are. I've seen it and I've got the screenshot of you calling out Birdman. Oh. Um, and I've seen I have got a question. There you go. What, the hypocrisy. What, what did you think you were going to achieve by doing so that? So there you go, guys. See. A woman, uh, Romany and proud, that has been racist sitting in a box saying how it's disgusting to be racist. <laughs> you got to laugh, man. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, let's go into the uh, Laura situation. Okay, let's be going. Right, I don't even know where to start on this one, to be honest with you. I'm going to start with when Pearl jumped in the box. So this is nothing against uh, towards Pearl. Okay. But this is how, uh, what I've, as I said earlier, the clout. So this is Michelle's life here, who stands against racism, and rightly so. And you've got Alicia, Pagey Baby, Devon, I don't know the others in it, Frankie, and Pearl in the box. And I'm not coming in like any aggressive way or anything, but... So you're not coming in an aggressive way, but you aggressive with me daily because you keep going on that I'm racist. But no words has come out of my mouth. What, at what point did you think it would be a good idea to get everyone on this app together into one live to speak about like ableism slurs and racism slurs? Views. To speak about that, all I come up for, firstly, um, Paige, there was nobody scared. I only come up just to answer a few questions that I was listening to. It was nothing to do with MT, so it was no good going yes, to do. Yes, forward it, get... MT for anything, it was, was that your nothing fault? to was do that your... So as you can see, Pagey Baby, because I don't want to play the whole video, because it's quite long. Pagey Baby was very calm, but I went live with her the night before, she ripped me apart. Well, tried to anyway, for no reason. I wasn't I wasn't, I was in someone's life, and she just happened to jump in when she saw me. Now, as you know, Pagey Baby has been in my life quite a lot, right, before I started, before I became friends with Pearl. Right. So, uh, Pagey Baby, my question to you is, how am I racist? And if I, if you think I am being, uh, I was racist, why were you sitting in my box? Was it for the views? Yes, 100% it was. I'm sick of the fake fuckers on here. I really am. They're all doing it for the views. And what they're doing is using me as bait. Using my misery, yeah, and everything that I've gone through and, you know, trying to look for my triggers to get clout. Okay, because I don't give no fuck about racism. None of them. None of them. They're all trying to, what platform should we do it on? This platform, that platform. All for views. All of it. Wake up, guys, okay? Because Pagey Baby and the rest of them should not be educating on, on, on racism. 
Okay, they really shouldn't. I mean, who points them to be the voices of TikTok? Because I'm the one that gave them a platform. They've decided, well, I'm going to be the voice. No. All you do, Pagey Bay, is attack people. And I don't like you as a person, so don't even twist this around to make out like I'm being racist towards you because I'm not. I don't like you, okay? Because what you do is when people ask a question or say the wrong thing, you attack, right? And you say it's education. If it's education, why do you keep talking about people that have said things in the past? Why? But, you know, why are you coming for me that have, hasn't even said anything? Because you have a dislike for me. There's no other reason but your dislike for me. Mm. There's a play it. One sec, where is it? Pearl and this one. I'll stay, but about Chinese people in a racist manner. Okay, I'm not Chinese. I may not be of Arab descent or where I got it from, but yeah, I stand on business. I have not books three times a day. Then he requested me to battle three other times after that, not the fucking other way around. I like so how that... uh, Pagey Baby's been nice and uh, nice and sweet to Pearl, which is fine. But yet the day before, you know, I had a go at me. But yet I haven't even I haven't actually said anything. I called him Dave. I think it's weird that I've openly said to him, I don't want to be your friend, Dave. I think it's horrible what you said. Left him alone. And then you've Trigger warning, by the way. times and sent your weird, like, little desperate housewives over to me. That's why I called him Dave. And also the fact that you're racist and clapped your hands in the cup clap songs and I'm racist and made EDL burgers is why you can have no say, let alone where a black person should. And we have more right as where's the whole the life. Is there anything else you would like to ask? Um, someone that also educates uh, racism, as she has said, this is what she does. She even educates the police that uh, listens to um, rap songs, comes on TikTok and says the N-word over and over again, but yet educates racism. Make that make sense, Pagey. Come up for breath and let somebody speak. Yeah, the years. No, I just got ADHD. My skin is... I don't, I'm not, Are you um, finished? I've let you talk. Let I'm not 67. Talk. I can let say it quite talk. Let me talk. You've had your okay. say. So, getting to the ADL burgers, that's all you called me for weeks, of course I was going to clap back and put ADL up in the burger van, right? Don't come at me when I've been no fine well, I'm going to come back with something, that was that. And then, you know when you were saying you were getting talk, uh, talked about on my platform, you were getting spoke very highly of. That's what you were getting spoke about on my platform. So, whoever sets the tail back to you, Tell them to bring the proper tail. And that's all that I want to say. And by the way, you... God, why don't you take your dirty, racist I, self I, out I, of this I, life? Because you see you, yeah? You've like you got, got no reason to talk, I'm have you? Take your own decrepit self off of your love because you should be talking. Say, You're a racist say, and we don't need to be listening to a racist like point of view at this time. So take your dirty, smelly, racist self off of your life and stop being racist. So you're a liar. Because there's nobody else. Like, well, you're not going to put that on my name. Why I didn't want to say. I didn't want to say you was running live on me bye at all today. Like, so please don't sit there and lie. Can I just there were many people running live on page and people putting crap in hands in comments. But what it was was not you. So please don't sit there. Everything I say is checked on hundred percent. Having a discussion with each other. So as you can I, see, guys, right, Michelle, and this is listen, not a biased live. I'm just talk, just talking about a you know a certain group that I believe are doing it for the clout. And like that lady did come on and say a mixed race lady and said this is why. Okay, uh, Michelle decided to put, put Pagey Baby in the box. Devon, blah blah blah, decided to put Pearl in the box, uh, but then she decided to put Swimming Shepherdess. Why would Michelle put her in if it's not for the clout? You know, what? you're educating racism, putting them together. You wanted drama, Michelle. That's exactly what you wanted, right? All right, let's play the next one. Let me turn this light on, it's getting dark. All right. <clears throat> um, what is this one here? I'm so saying the conversations of with the boss. When I'm wait, wait a minute. Like, come on, we were both patronising to each other, but did, did, what, did I swear at her once? Hold up, you're the best. Really, it's factual. Apologies, right, and with all due respect, 
Hi. 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 Good evening. With all due respect, I'm not going to be told how I should react or how I should feel. Everyone's different and everyone's going to react to situations differently. But I do agree with Laura on that one, 100%. Um, but let's not also be selective on who we are going to have a go at because CLA has not been dragged. Court Assassin or KUB, none of these people that have said things have been dragged. Only certain people that have got nice platforms. I will not tolerate, yeah, is a racist being sat in this box, especially when you're trying to touch on a subject which I'm hoping to make a positive difference going forward. They all said about me uh, being friends with Pearl, da da da, yeah, but yet allow Pearl in the box, which is fine, no, no problem, but I'm just talking about the hypocrisy. To wake up, they are all doing it for the goddamn clout, and you're not going to use me for bait to do that. Okay, because I'm going to block the, all of you. NJ host, Devon, get the fuck out my life. Blocked. Like I have no feelings. Oh, it's only Angie. Only Angie. I'm sick and tired of it. Do we need a bad, dirty smell? up here right now while you're trying to have a constructive conversation going forward but that's I what i don't to, get i wanted to ask her and dave at what point they thought you shouldn't even like really want to ask her anything because all she is it. yeah is someone who's mouth who's like got a, a conveyor belt with diarrhea on it why I'm do you even want to waste the oxygen in the air with that person? Really, I though? I want to know why they What's thought it was the a good idea and why to drag No, no you wanted the numbers. And then why to stop on everybody. Guys, guys wake everybody. up to Michelle. She loves the drama. She she doesn't stand for racism. She doesn't give no fucks. Because who she caused all of this to decide who should hold a life. And with all due respect, I'm not being funny. Paige got hold your life. Devin got hold your blood clot life. Okay, look, with before you run off though, like, due I, like everyone respect. Else, I can sit and Stop have a very much to conversation. What we do, when Which we is do mad. it, okay, when so we can talk I about now? it, can and I how it's true. You've sent people over, and like me, I don't have a big team like you. I haven't got a big crew. Ain't no one been in your life respectfully saying bun page from swearing chef, etc. Whether you, you didn't, I didn't say you sent them, but that's not me. I haven't got a big team like that. And number two, the fucking heat I have been talking about, which you knew from before I even matched you to talk about it to back you. I have been on this app talking about racism. The smoke I received because of you, yeah, because I backed you, even when people said your character, I said I don't give a fuck her character. You backed Laura for one reason, and I'll say again, the views. No other reason, uh, um, what's her name, Pagey, baby? No other reason. I don't give a fuck about this man, this person, I don't care. She is a person of colour and I'm going to back her, right? And I've still... No, it's not. Before I land, I'm not even cussing you. I still follow you. I've not blocked you. All I've said in my life is probably a couple of little things, which is me telling my truth, because people are saying, you've said certain things, and it upset me. I've blocked that you've unfollowed me, and it legit upset me. Because, yes, we're all doing it because we are all black women, right? But I was the one... It was my life you're forgetting what Paul called you in. And me and you was messaging. I said, I'm a baby creator. I was not ready for what was even going to happen. Do you understand? The mental impact that it had on me, Laura, and I get that it has it on you, but I'm a baby creator. And I still had your back, and I still will. Didn't butt in just then. Wouldn't sit here and make it all about me, blah, blah, blah. It was you that called out my name respectfully. So we can be adults, sit there now and talk about it without people sitting there thinking that with bun team speed, though, you, especially if you're a woman, I swear to God, I pray to rascal out that you do not have children or family or sisters that go through something and you're sitting there because someone else knows the male that puts it in your face like that. And that's the difference between me and a lot of people. It's safe to do it in there. That's the only reason I went onto that man's platform at the start, right? Because they were playing my shit. And it weren't just to do racism towards you or affecting us. It was personal towards me as well, yeah? So I was upset. I've not once sat there and cussed you out like I've cussed out some of the people that have been in my own community, like people that have come against me, right, and done the whole opposite stuff. I've not once ever said anything. I've said how you deal with your journey as a woman and be. as a black woman, that's cool. But what you can't keep doing is sitting there calling me out, da, 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 when you're forgetting that the majority of the race shit and the doxing and the death threats was me backing you 
and I would still do it again tomorrow. So I genuinely don't feel like I deserve that from you and the attitude when the, it's realistically, it's not about you or me, it's about all of us as sisters. It's Listen, at the end of the day, a certain group, and it's nothing to do with colour, right? Okay, so please don't twist this around, okay? Of course a divide. Because Zach has said something, okay? Okay, but for some reason, it's all of our fault because of what one person has said on, on here. And now there's a divide. And the only p people that are dividing is, is this little group here that's causing this divide. Where I have never, ever felt, yeah, um, racism before until now. And that's the truth. You know what I mean? Can a white, can a black person or be racist towards a white person? In my opinion, 100%. And I've never felt so... Um, what? I don't even know what the word is. Never felt so kind of like, oh, wow. You know what? I feel like you're having a go at me just because I'm white. You, you get what I'm saying? And I do feel, and I, and I do understand there's a lot of racism daily. And the, racism should never be tolerated. You know, my ex, who was from Mauritius, was fortunate. He didn't really, well, he did when he was little. But when he was old, he never really experienced that racism, that the racism, right? So, you know, he, he was lucky. But I know people do experience on a daily basis. It should never, ever be tolerated. But don't, because you have that, that the, the racism on a daily basis that you think, because someone is white, they're also racist. Like, for example, what I said about the boat. Right, because I said boat, I'm now a racist. You get me, and that was also twisted. And they lied. She lied. When I say they, don't twist that around. You, you get me saying we're talking about the specific group. Because I said I'll put you on a boat to, back to another country. It was Remembrance Day, and listen, I'm not going to go into it. People know the situation there, okay? I said about myself. I just happened to say it to a black person, and it was twisted. Oh my God, you said it to a black person, you're racist. Why is it like what? <laughs> Do you understand? And, you know, people say that you don't have the race card. 100% I believe you do. 100% there's a race card. Do you know what I'm saying? And listen, I, you know, my, my ex was Mauritius with him for seven years. Can you be racist and be with someone? I don't know. Maybe you can, you know. But I just see it from all angles. I'm just one of those. With Zach, I just, you know, I support mental health. I have empathy for people with mental health. I didn't think it was the right time. I know what the app is like. They drag you and drag you. It's not just uh, where it's just the day, then you move on. It's day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You either do something about it and, and take legal action or you move on because what else can you do? You're, 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 you know, complaining about racism, but yet you're sitting in that person's box. You've got them in your box, you know, and it's going back and forth. That's not, you know, solving the issue. You block them, you don't watch them and you move on. And it's that simple. That's how you resolve racism on TikTok. But you definitely don't go in that box, okay? You definitely don't do that or put them in your box or you don't do any of that. You, you get what I'm saying? Block and move on. That is in the same with Zach, okay? He said something, shouldn't have said it. Don't ever, ever condone that, okay? I would never, ever incite hatred. And, I, and I've always said, right, saying, uh, saying words like ra well, ra racism on a, on a platform is dangerous because it can incite hatred towards a community and it could spread like wildfire. Just so, just like someone being called a racist that is not a racist could spread, you know, inciting hatred and spread like wildfire where someone would get threats. So I don't ever, ever condone racism. You know, my aunt who's married, she's had, what are they's, um, what do they call them? Um, the gollies. That's what she used to get called. You get what I'm saying? And did, did it bother her? No, but other someone else it might. You get what I'm saying? Um, so, but like I said, yeah, stop doing it for views and let's do it on this platform. Let's do it on this platform. But let's get the big creators in. Let's get the... You're doing it for goddamn fucking views. And you're not going to bait... I'm getting angry now because you're not going to bait me. You're not going to use, you know, um, try and get a reaction out of me to bump your viewers up. Okay. Yeah, especially when I've, I've been down, down, down. You know, not in a good place. I'm not using my mental health. But don't fucking kick someone while they're down for the fucking clout. You know what I mean? That's all I gotta say. Move on. You know what I mean? Go le do it something legally. You know, do it. You know, that's the right way to do it. If you don't want to take legal action, yeah, you've got to just block them and move on because otherwise it's going to be it's going to be dragged out for six months and you will be affecting people's mental health. And the people that have been affected by what Zach said or that person said, I'm not taking their feelings away from them either, right? But then do it. Go, you know, go through the proper channels. Don't drag someone. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, and that's it.
And if it has affected your mental health, you can take action against per a person. Listen, you, you, people going about my behavior, I've said many times, go to the police, off you pop. <coughs> you know what I mean? <coughs> I know I haven't done anything. <coughs> yeah, and that's all. That's all I want to say. And in regards to the other, the other word, um, who are all these people in the box? Um, because I do want to talk. I want Kieran to come in. I, I, I told him at four o'clock because um, he wants to talk about the disability. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I just keep up to say, Andy, I also agree with you about the, this group of people trying to divide, do divide. Yeah. The only but time I see the divide is the specific group, okay? I've never felt racism as a white woman, but I feel that. I really do. I mean, am I triggered or affected by that? No. No, I'm not. Okay, as a you know, if a, a black person probably would would be, I'm not. But it, it's not a nice feeling to actually feel that you know that oh my god, it's because I'm white. And I understand people have gone through experience, you know, racism on daily daily basis. But does not mean that, that that person's racist. Or you know, sometimes I also think you can see racism that's not there. Like because I said, I'm going to put you on a boat. I mean, would it be yeah. would you be happy if I said plane? You get what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I think it's it's getting. Now, I said that from day one, though, Andrew. I did say that they were trying to make a divide. First of all, it was between the, I thought, between the gypsies and. I don't want to be a hate life between. I don't want to be a hate life towards a specific group either. Yeah. I really don't. But I'm just, I'm so sick of being called a racist when I'm not, okay? I've not been racist towards the black community at all. And um, I'm sick of it when someone is racist, it always goes back to me. Two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, whatever it may be, and I'm sick and tired of it, you know. And all I'm just saying is, if if people are so affected, and no one should be affected of racism, because I do not condone it, go down the legal route and then block the person and move on. That's all I'm saying. And not keep it going and going and going for months yes, and months. And where you're affecting yeah. that person's mouth and mental health, if your mental health is affected, you can do something about it. You don't have to sit there and whinge. And you certainly don't put that person in the box if you are affected or triggered. You just wouldn't yeah. do that. So don't sit there and saying, I'm triggered, duh, duh, duh. where it could be a disability, wherever, whatever it could be. You know what I mean? Well, if you're triggered, you wouldn't even sit in the box with a person that triggered you. No. If someone was racist against me, I wouldn't want to be in the box with them. You know, do you, know you make mean? certain people a voice of, of racism, you know, of, of a voice of, on TikTok, you know? Well, you know let's, let's, let's look at the black community. Like, people saying Zach needs to apologise to Paige and Torian. Why them two? The whole black community was a yeah. Yeah, why are you so special above all the people? Yeah, I get what you're saying. And who made them advocate of the black people? Exactly. Because they're really not, do you know what I mean? And I, listen, like I said, I don't want it to be a hate life like they have held for days on me and certain other people because they're holding hate lives. It does, it works both ways. Yeah, you know I, mean? I know you're not even keen on it, um, but even the way that Laura once spoke to Pearl, it's our, I know Pearl, like what she, she, what she did was did, but the name calling, Nanji, like the grown women. Do you know what I mean? Calling like smells well, well, and I understand and... though, Laura's, um, how Laura feels. Well, I don't understand. I've never uh, experienced racism, but I do understand. Laura is completely different because it was said to her, right? Listen, yeah. I'll stay, I don't, me and Pearl, listen, I don't want to be talking on Pearl, but we have beef, but I'll still stand by it. I'm not going to all of a sudden now we're yeah. not friends. Yeah, um, she, oh, she's, you know, bloody racist. Do you know what I mean? I might have said some things in, in the past. I don't think she deserves, I don't think I she deserves what she's she, talking she about. She didn't, her, that weren't her intentions. Yeah, I just don't think that was logical. Right she doesn't deserve to keep going for months and months and months getting attacked by them. Yeah, well, this is Michelle put her in the box. I don't understand why she did it if it went for Clell. Well, she's yeah, the so only Michelle, saying, Michelle but, you know, And then you've got other people that are sitting in the box saying about, oh, you've done this, done, done that. And you've got, you know, certain people that have said about the uh, calling pet, the word pedlo, you know? Uh, you know, and they said, they've said a lot. Uh, transphobia. What about you know? EQ's right with what she said. Who's firing up live on on the transphobia that you know? It's, it's like a couple of people in that group have said. You know, you know. What about the the the, the trans community? Yeah. I mean, what about like what someone said about uh, to Wayne, which you know, he said she said you look like a, a fag, as in he was skinny. I can't remember who said it now actually. So was skinny, but then. T Decided to, you know, to say no. I just meant as a new, you know, you're skinny, not because you're gay. You know what I mean? But what, isn't that the same as the boat? What I said about putting you on a boat? No, I just thought it'd be funny to say boat instead of. You know what I mean? That's how I felt, Angie. I felt like they were trying to make it a ride as well, and I didn't like it. I thought, man, something bad is going to come out of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone is going. 
I mean, people were saying, Angie, shouldn't do this debate, don't do the debate. It wasn't really a debate. It was just really me to have my opinions as to, you know, constantly um, seeing, you know, people firing up lives about, you know, and they are hate lives. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what, Andy? This is a nice life. There's no shelter, there's no road, and you know what I mean? It's just I mean, a listen, nice life. I'll probably have a lot to say tomorrow. So what? I won't be watching them because they will be blocked. They can say whatever they want now because I really don't give two shits. You get what I'm saying? This is the last time I'm going to be talking on it. And like I said, it's not a natural debate, debate. Do you know what I mean? As people thought it was. And people are saying, even in the comments, oh my God, Angie, it's going to go wrong. Don't do it. I don't give two fucks. And I tell Hello. you, I'm not racist. Right, one sec, because I'm not racist, okay? You, you, you only have to be careful if you are a racist. You know, we all say the wrong things. I'm not going to be stepping on eggshells. That's the whole thing about a, a debate on racism. It's about opinions. We don't have to have... A, 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 like a book and you know and we're not talking about black history we're having opinions you know and that's all it is we're, we're not here to educate and i don't understand why you don't believe like when you don't see color when you don't look at a person like and say oh that's a black person i'm talking to because we actually don't do that do we it's just a it's, it's a figure of speech but yeah. you know that was twisted by devon and saying well uh you're racist for saying that how I think the racist word has gotten used too much on the staff as well. I really I'm just saying, think. everything just gets, yeah. seems to get twisted, twisted, twisted. Do you know what I mean? Hey, guys. Thank you, Sammy. Hiya. Hiya. Um, just quickly, I, this racism thing, man, like, who cares if you're white, black, yellow, green? Like, racism has been around for so long, and yeah. anybody can be racist yeah. to anybody. Yeah, but you know what it is. One creator is, it says something, and it goes back to the to other people. You know, focus on that one person. One person being dragged. You know what I mean? And other people's names being dragged. It's crazy. But it just seems to be the one group all the time, Andrew. The one few people. What, what, what people are doing is actually where people are scared to ask questions, and, and you know, and you, people. If you want to educate, you know, you, people need to ask questions. But people are scared to ask questions. If you ask the one question, you're going to be crucified for life. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, or saying this wrong thing. Hi, Angie. Hi, yeah. Uh. I think it's, I think it's ridiculous. It's like it's like you, Angie, but you being afraid to talk about a traveller. You step toe in all the time because you're afraid in case you get done for racism or do you know what I mean? You are you are on eggshells all the time because you don't know if you're saying the right word or not. Yeah, but the good thing is that people are calling Angie racist. Not once Angie has been racist. You know what I mean? I'm brown. You know. I do. Not I do want to point been out. Racist, and that's what's pissing me off. Yeah, I do want to point out, Angie, you did, you did use a slur a moment ago. I don't know whether you were aware that you did. You said you said gollies, which is which is uh, a which is a. No, no. Let me tell you about that, Venti. Maybe you need to educate yourself. That that got uh, the the second word you cannot say. Right? They still have. Uh, they call them gollies. They still have them. Okay, in in shops, they do still sell them. It's the second word. It doesn't. That doesn't. The second word is a is a slur, not the first. Gollies. Gollies is an abbreviation mm. of the word gollywog. Um, no, no. The second word, what you just said, is a slur. That has been taken out. No, this. Like, golly I mean, is still. <laughs> they still sell still, golly. golly. Now I could be wrong. I'm not saying. You I'm are. You are. Right. And if you I'm are wrong, wrong. And I think. Wait a minute. This is what I'm exactly what I'm saying. Wrong? This is what I'm saying. Okay, I have not said that slur out of malice. First of all, okay. If I'm wrong, right? I mm -hmm. said it because I thought it was the second word. Not the first word, because I'm pretty sure I, they still sell some places. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if they still sell them, though. The the toy is offensive, first of all. Of course and what, it is. what I'm not. What I'm. What I'm not going to do is sit here and be told that I am. I am in the wrong for <laughs> for calling out for calling out. Golly, uh, Venti, it's now called a golly. I don't like these dolls. I sh I don't think they should be sold. I don't know if it's the same. But can you? Doll. But can you understand? But can you understand where I'm coming from? Because I've just come up here and I've tried to educate you on it, and you said that I'm wrong. You've been here last and night. Everyone, and been everyone, here everyone, everyone, last night, Venti. You need everyone, to calm down. You know what I mean? Everyone. Been talking uh, all what, night what do you mean? Night? What do you mean? I haven't been talking all night. Yeah, either. you are. I don't know what you're yeah, talking you are. About. You need to literally. I've literally. Right, so okay, so I'm I'm now in this box with what I, what I assume you, is a group you, of white like people. You really have to each other. I don't want this live to be crazy. This um, is, this is, uh, Vinci, can I say something, please? Yes, go for it, mate. So Angie just pointed out that she may have said it. Well, no, she did say, it, but she was she wasn't. Um, she didn't know that it was it was you know offensive. Yeah. Obviously. yeah, and, the I, whole, I, just, and I just said, and I just said I wasn't going out. Let me, let me tell you something, Fight. What they have done is they've left that first word in. I won't say it again because you seem 
triggered by it. Right? I'm, I'm not. I'm not triggered by it at all. Oh, but okay. what I what I, well, I wanted to point what out. What they have done is they've left the first word in. Listen, I don't know. I know there's some of those dolls still exist, but what they what they have done is they've actually abolished the second word, not the first word. So there are still called the first word dolls. But the second you, but, word is a slur, not the first. But can you understand that I have I have just come up here and I said, Angie, I wasn't. I'm not sure if you're aware, but you have just used a slur because but that, I, that because that is a slur. Ben, but I'm telling you, Venti, it's not a slur. The first one. But I'm telling. Word. But I'm telling you, as a black, a black person, person, I have been. I have been called. Right. I have. I have been called that word. Yeah, it's an abbreviation. It's an abbreviation of the whole word. I have been called that word, and people use it as a derogatory can term. I, can I also and just I'm say sat Venti? here. Can I'm, I just say, Venti? Just because you're a black man does not mean you're you're correct with what you're saying. Because I have, guess what? I have done a little bit of research on those dolls, believe it or not. And that second actually, word is a slur. But you're telling me I'm wrong when I've actually researched into it. Where the second Angie, word, okay, is a Angie, slur, not the first word. But you Angie, said, I, came up Angie, and, yeah, Angie, and said I've just made a slur when I Angie, referred to I, my because, auntie. Because, because no, but that word is a slur. I've just told you it's an abbreviation of the full word, and I'm sat here in a box with what I presume is predominantly white people telling me that I'm wrong. I've got people in your comments. Oh, no. Someone told me to get great. People are telling me that I'm overreacting. And yesterday, Angie, you told me that I need to educate my community on using the N word. Do you understand how abhorrent that is? Listen, yes, I don't want the hate. Sorry, I don't want the hate. Right. No, a mental health is different. No, you know I, what I listen, mean? I know what you're doing. I'm brand myself. Yeah, okay. you've gone. I have done. done my research. Just because, I mean, because you're a, a, a black person does not mean uh, uh, that you're saying that you are right and I am wrong. I have done my research. It, it, the first word is not a slur, it's a second word. Oh, otherwise, I, I think it. it was said quite a lot to my auntie. Okay, so please, Fenty, don't come up and do that. I think... Um, People, people seem to have obviously uh, misheard you because when when he told you that you know it was a slur, and yeah. the first thing you said was, "I'm sorry, I I didn't know that that first word was a slur," and well, you apologised. It's a slur. It's a second word. It's not. Oh, no, I I, I I get that, I, and I'm I'm not um saying otherwise, but I'm just saying that when he said that he, it was a slur. The first thing you did was say I wasn't aware, aware and I'm well, sorry. What I said was if because I just didn't want the argument. If you feel this offended in some ways, then I apologise. But I'm just referring as to what my auntie yeah, but used you know to get. He's been in a box last night, talking, talking, talking shit, and he's done it again tonight. He just yeah, he, he had a lot to say last night, and I don't know why. No, he was, don't put him in your box. He again. was arguing with someone else, so, um, and it wasn't even, it wasn't about racism. What was it about now? Was it? Was no, it, it was. It was last night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was arguing I just, last night. Last night, about that. Yeah. You no know, mental health, right? I suffer with it, and you don't realise what you say till afterwards. He did a mistake, you know. I'm brand myself, you know. People do mistakes in life. Everyone, yeah. everyone says things. Yes, of course. Just because you, know, you said the wrong thing, if you haven't done it out of malice, you know, it's about education. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's not about about from out of malice, and that's the main thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, I think people comes up to have an argument with you just for clout. Yeah, I think they really do and want just, to start. You come yeah, last night, sorry, you've been just... talking, 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 then you come in a box again tonight. Like, yeah, like what's the issue? He needs to shut up. You know, yeah. so, uh, uh, Angie, not sorry. once Angie has been racist. I'll be honest, not once. I've been watching Angie, yeah, for ages. Not once she's been racist. You know, I don't understand why people saying she's racist. She's not. How is she racist? I think um I think no, there is a lot of people no, prove that she's racist. Yeah. These people what Doesn't... they're saying prove it. <clears throat> Can I no, just say something? So I'm, I'm on the I'm on Google and I've gone on to many websites because I have researched it, right? So please don't say I haven't done my research, okay? So that word, which I'm not gonna say the whole word, right? Yeah is shortened to the first word and i don't want to say yeah. it because it's he's you know he's i don't want to offend him or anyone yeah. that might be offended so it is shortened to the first word it is definitely the second word that's the slur and not the first okay so i know that he's come up here and said listen i'm a black man and please don't tell me tell me that that's not a slur that's what he's come yeah, up and said Angie, it does not mean he's just because he's a night. black man he's educated talking. either can yeah. I just say one thing? Can I just say I something, Angie? As, 
as as a as a woman of a certain age that that slur was used very much in the 60s 70s it hasn't been used for many many years mm. so i don't know how old he was i was going to ask him how old he was but that is a very very old slur and you're right the first part of it is not the slur the second part of it is and i can't yeah. i've never heard anyone use that slur for but a like very I said, if very he's long time by that first word i won't repeat it if, if he is offended because i'm not going to take how you know how he feels away from him i'm just trying to say um that's what my auntie used to get called mm. that's all i'm trying to say and you know it didn't offend her it might offend someone else you get what i'm saying mm. I think, you know, she was kind of used to it, but she's right, not um, got used to either. Can I just say one more thing before I jump down? Um, I think there is a hell of a lot of people that are uneducated about racism. racism. And that's the problem. It's, yeah. it's the education. Um, mm. Even myself, I'm not fully educated on it. So, like, I, it needs to be something where people are fully educated on it. Because the there is going to be cultures and communities. There is, you'd be forever trying to educate yourself in every community, wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't oh, yeah, be able yeah, to... yeah, of course. Yeah. So I think it's really cultures. important to, to actually, when educating people, is to to not attack people for saying the wrong thing. You know? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Unless but, you're doing it out of malice, obviously. Exactly. You know. And, Angie, the time you said that P word, you said that if you remember, and I was in your box, and you genuinely didn't understand what I meant. Yeah. When you were here, didn't I would have referred to, no. Yeah. So some people generally don't, and they don't mean to say it in a bad way, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Some people yeah. just uneducated. In... Do you know what? Some people, they say things, and then they realise after, and that's what mental health is. You know? Yeah. I say things, and I don't really know. You, learn from it. you say it the second you know? time, but then you can put it down as a slur, but if you say it like the first time, yeah. apologise and learn from it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not get attacked. Yeah. 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 But not Kieran, but Kieran, we're not yeah. talking about the disability at the moment. We're talking about the, the racism side of it. Yeah. I don't know if you want to yeah. stay in the box or come back. Yeah. What time will you be doing it at? About half an hour. Right. Yeah, Kieran's going to talk about the uh, disability side. Well. Uh, stay in the box, Kieran, if you want. Yeah, it's all right. I'm not part of the community, so I don't want to oh, okay. get in. Don't want to get in. Just want to get involved in it. <laughs> I just don't want to change it at this moment. See you later. All right, Kieran. Oh, um, who's it? hello? Is it Rembo? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Hi. Well, I just want to say about Zach. Right, Zach said one thing wrong. He didn't constantly repeat it. He didn't constantly say it. It's oh, not in his personality. Yeah. yeah. It's not in his trait as a per person. He was drunk. He had issues yeah. personally. Yeah. And he self-sabotaged because he felt that low at yeah. that time. And yes, drink is... Um, Drink is toxic, you know. Yeah, and it brings out yeah. the worst in you. It yeah, brings yeah, out yeah. it brings out the worst in you in yeah. the sense of how he felt at yeah. that time. Yeah, exactly. Not yeah. not him as a person, not him yeah. as a personality. He's he's never come out with anything like that. He he would never say anything like that. Ever. Come out with anything like that. He, he would I, um... never say anything. Oh, um, I, I, I think um, my view is is it doesn't matter whether you're sober or you're drunk. But everybody knows that you, you shouldn't be saying anything racist. So that there's no excuse for saying it. So that, that's my view. And I, and I don't yeah, really you know, watch one that. Sec, yeah. One sec, yeah. When you're sober, you're yourself. But when you're drunk, it's toxic. You say things what you don't mean. You know what I mean? And look what he said. You know, I suffer with it and whatever. And I said things and I didn't mean it when you're drunk. When you're drunk, you're a completely different person when you're sober. You know? Mm, yeah. And also, I don't understand why people are saying, oh, he should be doing this. He should be doing that. What do people want him to do, actually yeah. do? 
What do they actually want him to do? What they need to do either is go down the legal route, yeah, if their mental health is affected or they're upset or and they've just got to block and move on. But don't put people that you feel that are racist, not saying they are, this is how you feel, in your box. He's not racist. He was in a bad place at the time. He was in a bad place at the time. He started drinking and then it brought the worst out in him. Simple as. He made a massive mistake. And you know that it is? was it. Brown, he hasn't yeah. said it and over and friend, over and over you know, again. I was to my own friends, you know what I mean? When you're drunk, you don't realise, you know, you're a different person. You are. Hi, Sha. You know? But you know, Angie, not once she's been Hi, racist. Angie. So this is what I don't understand, why people are coming out of her. You know, it's not fair. There are people on this app that have said it over and over yeah. and over again mm. and haven't got the flaw, no, the, uh, yeah, the, no. the, the, the no, crap no. that Zach has. And I think it's absolutely disgusting that he was in a bad place. He even no, came no, up the next day mm. and said, I'm not in a good place. And everybody's ripping him to shit. I think it's absolutely no, yeah, downright disgusting. Remember. It's I a sea of monsters. That's can how I, ask, I see can it. Can I ask you a question, Remember? Do you, you feel like you've got, like, you know, certain creators like Luke the Judge oh really been away for days, right? He's been away for days, and all of a sudden, you know, this has come out of um, Zach, so, you know, he's jumped on it, you know, uh, quite quickly, you know. Um, all the people that dislike him, do you feel they, it's because he was racist or because they just dislike him? No, it's they're... because they dislike him and they're jumping on the bandwagon oh. to pull him down. As simple as, and that's how that's how everybody sees it. I, see I mean, it the same uh, way. they they were waiting mm-hmm. for him to make a mistake yeah. because Zach has mental health issues, and at yeah. some point, that poor guy, when he yeah. put that podcast up, he didn't realise the backlash that mm. he was going to get from it, from his mm. family units and this, that, and the other, mm. and he got it back. He got that backlash, and mm. now he's absolutely going through mm. shit. So he yeah. had a drink and it yeah. brought out the worst. Yeah, didn't. He didn't and mean to everybody say what he said does it. Everybody does it. Every single person on this app, if he did summer, right, they would have been licking his ass, you know. I'm just wondering, guys, right, why didn't uh, why wasn't a fire a life fired up about other people? You know what I mean? Like KTB that also said the N word. So this is because the because problem. I'll tell you why, Ange. I'll tell you why because them people aren't significant. So Zach was I significant, mean, and he yeah, has a massive that, platform, me, and they me. hate it. So to me, that's his views. I'm I'm sorry. That person, KDB, said the exact same thing. I played it on my live, right? No one fired up alive about it because this person has a small platform. To me, a certain group, not everybody. I'm not talking about everybody, but a certain specific group. To me, it's the views. Yeah, yeah, it totally is. 100%. Hi, yeah. Sha. Right, I'm going to jump down. So, uh, my Hi, last is like, I, I don't think there's any excuse for racism at all. And that's just no. my view. So, and it needs to end. Unfortunately, I... it's going to, you know, it's always going to carry on. But unless people get educated, not... there's no way that, you know, it's going to get sorted. Like, but... I'm not justifying what he said, but I just don't understand why other people haven't been, uh, why uh, people haven't fired up. Lies I'm not people. justifying what he said. I'm saying he said it in a situation <laughs> where he weren't <laughs> mentally <laughs> well and he'd been drinking. He weren't mentally well. Think about it. Yeah, He's not yeah, mentally yeah. well and then you go and have a drink. I mean, yeah. they're two, like, massive yeah. bangs together. That so, are remember, gonna cause, you cause saying that... Not being in a good place mentally and drink means it's okay to be racist. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is it didn't, it, it's like um, a toxic um, venom in in him at that time. Like he had that situation that he couldn't cope with and then he drank. I'm not saying what he said was right or anything. I'm not agreeing with that. What I'm saying is, but his situation at that time weren't good anyway, and then he drank. Can I just say also, Jenny, I, I said it just, just now, that my issue is, right, listen, racism should never be tolerated. Condone, yeah. my, my, yeah. my, my, me, it's because of his mental health, okay? Because, yeah. of, you know, because I can relate to that, right? Yeah. It does not make it okay what you said, right? But my yeah. issue is people saying that they were triggered, affected the mental health, yeah. all of that, right? 
Okay, mm. but yet it didn't go for other people like KGB who mm. said the exact same thing, if not worse. You know what I mean? Mm. So why did that people not get affected or triggered by that? And listen, mm. number one and number two, I reckon some people that are saying they're affected, they'll be in as comments in, in in a couple of weeks or a week. That's what always happens on this app, and that makes me mad because of course when I see someone's been affected and triggered, why would you be in his comments a week later? Because you, you know better than anybody, and as well as anybody, you can't cancel anybody on this app. People will still have their supporters. Can I just ask? Sorry, no, Rembo, no, are, are you Teresa? Are saying that it's affecting their mental health. Sorry? Are you Teresa? No, I'm not. You sound very much like Teresa. No, I'm not. I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. Can I hear from Shah anyway, guys? Hi, Shah. Hello, Shah. Hi, oh, sorry. I'm a little bit late. I was jumping on regarding the golly word. Yeah, let's not repeat it because I just don't want it to affect no, Andy, people. No, Andy, I'm jumping on to because of golly is actually my nickname. And oh. it was because when my sister was a baby, she couldn't say Charlene. So she used to say golly, golly, golly. Like a well, lot of babies. Does that actually... mean anything, no? Well, well means no, golly, golly means nothing. It's the second word. It's racist. Is yeah, yeah. It's, the, like the said, to me, yes, it's definitely the second word is a slur, not the first. But yeah. I'm not going to say it again if it offends people. Yeah, no, 100%. I didn't know that the first word was actually offensive because of a lot of my black friends actually call me by my nickname. So that's why, why I was actually... Why do they call you that, did you say? Um, it was because when my sister was a baby, my sister's like a year younger. She older. couldn't say Charlene. Older, sorry. She couldn't say Charlene, so she used to say golly, golly, golly. Like, because as children, when they begin to talk... Obviously, they don't say words. I mean, golly, 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 you know, even when they drink, I they do that. Don't twist that, please. Um, hi, Sharon. Okay, I'm just jumping off Thank and you, my battery also. I just wanted to let you know. Hi, Ange. You're right. I <laughs> just want to issue... Hi, Ange, and, and everyone in the box, respectfully. I just want to issue a, a bit of a challenge to anyone who wants to do any debates on any subject, whether it be racism or anything like that. Number one, turn your gifts off. Number two, get two people in the box that have opposite opinions on it. Let them speak for 10 or 15 minutes on it. Then open your boxes and let everybody speak. Don't do it for gifts or fame or whatever it is. That's my issue with it. Everybody jumps in everybody's box and has an opinion and everybody gifts everybody else. I'm not having to go at you, Ange. I'm just saying yeah. that that's the way a debate should be Done. I disagree That's with you. That's exactly how. Do you really, Ed? Yeah, I do, because when you think of professional debaters, you know, they do get uh, money to, to, to debate as part of their job. And I get that, and I get that. <laughs> but you could do that, you could, and you could do that at the end, couldn't you? You know, at, at the, the end, end of the day, the debate, so you know, to make people happy, and I can't... I can't yeah, I get so that, I get that. I understand, but when it comes to things like racism, people jump in different boxes all the time, you could open your, your live up at the end and go, right, OK, if you agree with this person... If you agree with that person, then you can gift them. But what I'm saying is, is there's a lot of... I, I don't know anything about racism. I'm, I'm an old woman. I don't know very much about things. All I know is that when I grew up in the in this, like, 70s, my friends were my friends. It didn't matter what colour they were or what religion they are. And I just want to say one thing. There was a very prominent person that once said, I want to be judged by my character more than the colour of my skin. And that's the truth. I don't like people because I don't like them because of what they stand for. I don't like them because they're a certain colour. I just mm -hmm. don't like them because they are a certain person that I don't yeah. like. But on TikTok, it's got a little bit out of hand when it comes to that kind of thing. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Racism, homopho homophobia... Islamophobia, whatever phobia it happens to be, you know what I mean? I can meet people in my everyday life. I'm not going, oh, that person's this colour or that person's that colour. If you're a complete and utter waste of space, you're a complete and utter waste of space, no matter what colour you are or what religion you are. And that's the way I was brought up. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, on TikTok, everybody has to argue about everything. 
So if you're going to have a proper debate, turn your gifts off. Have a proper debate. I'm not talking about you particularly, Andrew. I'm talking about, yeah. I'm, I'm challenging I know, everyone. see, though, uh, Devon, do yeah, TikTok debate. agency. All of I don't know, I people, Sorry. you know, it's, oh, turn your gifts off, do this, do this, it's control. I don't see what that's going to help yeah. the situation. And if, I don't, if, I don't, if you was... I don't think... Yeah, yeah, baby, if you had the right not... advice to be an agent, agent, I think you would be an agent on TikTok and help people to do their platform. Yeah, I'm just but saying yeah, that don't... people jump yeah. all the time. You know what I mean? One person goes in one box. This is not thing. about gifts. It's... The, the problem is bigger than mm. gifts. So mm. saying turning off I, gifts, but, and but that sounds it, like a setup but to me. It? That sounds yeah, like everyone's enjoying yeah. it. Let's just turn off the gifts and let's talk yeah. about race. This isn't a joke. No, this isn't a joke. You know, this isn't a no, joke. it's not a joke. People say to him, "Give can I have a word with it? Can I just go to say, you know, people are just sorry. Yeah, but sorry, you're saying, "Oh, take your gifts off. Take your gifts off, then." Can I just say, yeah, yeah people are ten, that say, "Turn your gifts off." I'm not. Certain, I'm not having a no debate, debate about race. Can I speak? <laughs> you know, people that say, uh, "Turn your gifts off." They, they just want a medal. That's all they want. No, they just want to control the whole problem and go on like to say they've, whatever, what, they've what come mean, up with the biggest idea that's going to help the situation. No, stop being racist. Right. Do I turn the gifts off? Listen, Stop being racist. That's oh, yeah, it. Listen, Stop being homophobic. I'm saying... that's Let me finish. Stop being homophobic. That's it. Be an adult. That's it. Be grown up. That's it. Take responsibility. That's it. No, not turn off gifts. Gifts are not going to stop people being racist or be uh, like handle the bigger, bigger issue here. Stop coming on here and but talking TikTok about TikTok isn't the place. You know you're Charlotte. the Charlotte. Guys, guys, please come in and say one person take to uh, I'm talking. Take time. I'm I know about TikTok. I'm going to keep doing... people out because there's a lot of people waiting, okay? Hi, I've been doing TikTok for a very long time. This is my backup account where I just do quotes, okay? I've been doing TikTok for a very long time, okay? T gifts are not the problem. It is the people behind the screen yeah. that have the <laughs> hidden agendas. Do you understand? The people behind the screen that are discriminatory. The people behind the screen that are racist. The people behind the screen that, don't like, that are homophobic. They are the issue. Not the money, not the nothing. Because I've noticed through these race debates, through all of these debates, hardly no one makes money. Yeah? Let me tell you if you want to call it a debate. Because it's not no one's life. No one's life is not a debate. It's not a discussion and it should not be happening. And, and it, Danielle, if you don't like to hear about it, leave. Because if you don't want to hear the facts about it and what actually is true, race is not up for a debate, babe. No one well, asked my kids. A, is, listen, everyone gets to have their say, okay? I've had my say, I've had my opinion. You've yeah, of course. So everyone is allowed. Opinion, which we should respect. It's not up for nothing. Do you understand what I mean? This race or homophobia or coming at any type of community. Can is, I ask you a question, Charlotte? You know that um, people that have been affected the Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.